we have a new style of miner with two outputs that comes with a module attachment which you can change depending on your needs. We have biomass burners with an input. We've also got crushers that take in a different style of ore, which crushes the ore and also outputs a byproduct of stone, which makes concrete because there's no concrete nodes in this world. You've got new ones. So yeah, welcome to Satisfactory Plus mod and uh, let's check it out and see what replayability this mod can do after you played your vanilla playthrough. What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new Satisfactory video. And this one's a little different and a little juicy because we're using the Satisfactory plus mod and as you can see on the right hand side it says welcome to satisfactory plus satisfactory plus is a complete overhaul mod that changes nearly everything in the game i do have to warn you if you are using this mod and future updates come out for example update 8 update 9 1.0 this mod will break until the mod loader gets fixed and it also states down here don't load old save games that didn't have satisfactory plus mod installed so this is a, my word of warning to you if you watch this uh, and it, this is a mod and I want to showcase this and I want to showcase this for a while because this is going to be something I think everyone is going to want to play, especially after the full game gets released and you want to play it again for replayability. So we're going to jump into a, a, a new game and as you can see skipping the tutorial is deactivated by Satisfactory Plus otherwise the game will crash. So we're going to go straight June Desert, session name, poop. All right, so we're actually in the actual desert now, so we're jumping in, and it's telling me to go and check out a styrotite ore, which is this. So styrotite ore, it's blue, and it's actually replacing the iron, and we can see here it's using the old model for the actual uh, copper. No, no, not the copper, the actual old iron. Uh, it kind of makes it look like a hedgehog. So we're going to grab some of this, and then we can see it in the bottom left here. We've got old styrotite ore and styrotite ore. This mod is obviously in early alpha, so... Like I said, I give you the warnings at the beginning and I recommend not playing this mod like for a full playthrough until after 1.0 has been released. Okay, so we're going to put down the hub and I'm interested to see the milestones of this. I'm super interested to see what we're going to get. Uh, we have crushed Diratite. So, okay, so we... This is interesting. I feel like brand new to the Satisfactory again and that is very rare. Oh my God, how many tiers is that? Equipment workshop, portable miner, iron wire, and inventory slots. And we need to make iron rods. This is gonna shut up. This is gonna sound stupid, but how do I make iron rods? I need iron ingots, and we need to get sloppy iron ingots. And how do we make that? We need crushed styrotite, and to get crushed styrotite, we're gonna need what on earth is this? So I've got to use crushed styrotite to make sloppy iron ingots, which then I can make iron plates and iron rods which is kind of interesting why is my game super quiet by the way that's because it's on 69 <laughs> nice okay so now that we can make some iron rods let's get them done i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of super excited to play this and now we can fill this one in select milestone and do this and yes i will be playing this mod and and it will be a full playthrough after i've completed the 1.0 so when the full game releases and I will be playing with this mod, and this mod will probably be something I'll be playing with every time I start a new playthrough uh, after 1.0, for sure. Obviously, we've now got the storage. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got the hub upgrade 2, which we need rods, plates, and iron wire, which is going to unlock the upgrade for sapphire. We're going to get a smelter, power line, crushed seraphite, copper ingots, copper rods, wire, and cable. Okay, so we just need to get some plates, and I need to basically... Can I build a miner? Let's get a workshop down. I need plates for that. And for me to get plates, I'm going to need more seraphite. So let's get more seraphite. Stir stirotite. Stirotite. And then I can make some more crushed stirotite. And then to make iron rods, uh, iron wire, we're going to need iron rods. So let's make some more ingots. And then I can make some iron plates. And then some iron rods. And then I can make some iron wire. And then, oh boy, I'm not going to lie, sitting here and waiting for this to happen. He's driving me nuts. <laughs> He's driving me nuts. Okay, so now that we've got that, actually, I should be able to upgrade this next, right? Yeah. Let's select that milestone. Let's send what we need to send off. Unlock the next stuff, which now we've got the smelter. So we can start putting that down. But of course, we're going to need power. And the only thing we've got power for right now is... Um, is is biomass <laughs> so now we've got upgrade three so now we need copper wire which i'm going to guess is going to need to be the exact same but we need to get 
crushed Seraphite now, then crushed Seraphite goes into, obviously, sloppy copper ingots, then copper rods, and then wire is used from rods as well, very much like iron wire, and then cable is your normal, which it goes from your wire to your cable. Okay, so let me go and grab all of that. We'll come back and send this off and then see what else but wait, we get reinforced iron plates in tier- <gasps> What on earth is this mod? I did say it was an overhaul mod though, bits. Constructor, power pole, mark one, concrete, screws, reinforced iron plates and crushed stone in tier zero. God help us, once 1.0 gets released, this mod gets finalized and everything is good to go because I think this mod, like I said, is going to be beautiful once it's done and it's going to be something every satisfactory player will end up playing more than likely especially if you want to replay the game for something new so i need to find some seraphite or and i hate these the reason i hate these because i think it was between update three and update four they were trying out new ores and this right here uh where the blue is is that was actually going to be like a, a brownie color and that was going to be for um iron and then there was another ore as well that looked like i'm not going to lie it looked like an alien egg or an ice cream sundae uh, which the copper was going to get uh, so we now need to go and find seraphite is it seraphite uh sapphire which is over here three, 350 meters away so here it is the big green ore itself and i've yeah this one's impure so we do have impure normal and pures just like normal so we're just going to grab some of this and then take it back to the hub and then make them other items okay so after more handcrafting you can now see i've got copper rods i've got cable got some wire and i've still got a little bit of iron left so let's get this one sent off and unlock reinforced iron plates in tier zero so let's get that sent off bada bing bada bush and now we've got hub upgrade three. So obviously we've got inside here now. We've got the computer. I don't think I see anything else uh, that has been added to this. Uh, we do have the constructor available now. So let's put the smelter down here. And then we can see we've got sloppy iron ingots in here and sloppy copper ingots. But obviously we need crushed sterifite, uh, stery steritite. I keep going to get this messed up so i'm gonna guess we need another machine which we don't have yet which is gonna be a crusher uh, which i do know is a part of a mod yes right here crusher so scan update ruby rubyite rub rub i'm so bad with names conveyor poles conveyor belt mark ones conveyor lifts mark ones a crusher crushed rubyte which basically using the quartz crystal images they've just changed the colors uh, which is going to give us tin ingots, tin plates, and then more inventory slots. So now we need to go and find some concrete, and we need to make reinforced plates. And to make reinforced plates, we need iron wire and iron plates. So if we're going here, I can actually make 52 iron plates right now. So let's just make a handful of these. Let's say around 20-ish. Actually, how much do I need for this? Uh, we need 10, but let's give me a couple, couple more just uh, to be spur. So we will go for uh, 20. Uh, once I've got them... I, I'm guessing concrete's going to be the same. Uh, concrete? No, it's not. It's crushed stone. Wait, what? Crushed stone. And to get crushed stone, we need styrotite ore. Well, styrotite ore is just iron ore. So let's just grab more of this. And then I should be able to make crushed stone, which kind of looks like copper powder. It's basically the copper powder icon, just with a color change. So then we can get some of that made. How much have we got? 300. Oh, God, I can make quite a bit here. And then once I've got that, I should just be able to make concrete, which I don't think we need copper well, copper powder. It's because I'm used to saying copper powder because this is what this looks like. But I don't think we need crushed stone for anything else. So I'm just going to literally transfer all of that into concrete. And then we're going to send this milestone off. We're getting through these pretty fast, to be honest. So now we have the crusher. So we could do some form of automation right now. Congratulations. You have unlocked. Ada, shut up. Thank you. <laughs> you can now do this. Basically, the, the, uh, this mod does not have its own tutorial text or anything like this. It uses the same base game. Oh my God, hello. It uses the same base game tutorial, but it's wrong. <laughs> so let's just put this stuff, the hog stuff we don't need away in here. So then we've got some rods now. We've got iron wire. We've got concrete. We've got cable. We've got wire. We've got plates we've got rods and we've got reinforced plates i'm interested to see what's going to happen up here but now we need to upgrade this one so we need a module miner 
Wait a minute. And a metal mi What? What? Module miner and a metal mining head. So, consumes different amounts of power. The amount depends on modules. The mining needs to drill uh, uh, drill to run and different resources depending on the module. Attach to the module miner. Depending on the level, the amount of material that is extracted, extracted changes. Some ores require a certain tier. Increase the power required by the module miner. Quantity per, ter, uh, per run is two. Then we get a storage container, tin rods, tin wire, and inventory slots. So we need to now make tin plates. Uh, and to make that, we go into here and we need sloppy tin. And sloppy tin is from rubite. And rubite, we need to go and find some. So by the looks of the direction of where these are, I think rubite or rubyite has taken over the limestone nodes. I think. I think. I could be wrong. Either that or it's taken over the coal nodes. Oh, we might as well grab this as we're going past it. A slug DNA yellow. <laughs> Do I not have um, advanced game settings? Creatures. Oh, I can. I want to put these on um, retaliate because they're annoying me. Go away, spitters. I'm so glad we don't have the nuclear hogs yet. Uh, so yeah, it does look like the rubite or rubyite. I'm so... You guys are going to get annoyed by me saying these wrong. Uh, but uh, these have taken over the limestone nodes. So this is rubite right here. Uh, I'm just going to call it ruby, basically. Now I'm just going to go grab quite a bit of this. And then we can start crushing down this into uh, the crushed. And then we'll start making tin ingots. And then what I'll do is I'll make some tin plates as well. I don't think there's any... I don't think there's tin rods. There isn't. Uh, but we'll make tin plates as well. Okay, so now we can unlock hub upgrade 5, which obviously needs rods, tin, uh, concrete, and cable. Let's get these ones done, and then send that one off. And now, I'm going to guess there's one more. Yeah. Space elevator, copper bush, uh, bus boys, copper sheets, iron sheets, tin sheets, automated biomass, what? Excuse me? Hello? Biomass, biomass, and map. Okay, so we need to make some tin wire, get some more concrete, and then we can unlock this. So we did get the module miner. Uh, Ada, shh. Go to sleep. So this is the miner, and obviously I need screws to make this. Wait, does that have a fuel input? A liquid? It does? It has a liquid input? And then we've got a miner head, which we attach to the actual miner itself. We've got a crusher, which basically has a two input and a two output. And we can put our sapphire ore in there and it makes the, like, basically the crushed sapphire. Then that goes into a smelter, then that goes into a constructor like normal. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of excited for this mod because this makes me feel like I'm playing the game for the first time because everything has changed. It's just that I've got a bit of basic knowledge about Satisfactory. All right, so let's get six cents off as well. We're just going to get all these milestones done and we can start looking at uh, automation stuff. Because I'm kind of curious on how all this is going to work. What is this? What is this? Simple logistics, better conveyors, destruction of nature, base building, research, ore sorting, and improved manufacturing. And I can't select a hub right now. Well, an objective. So now we've got two biomass burners. And I think I want to start a little bit of organization. I don't have any foundations or anything yet. But let's set up one line of stuff here. So let's put down a miner. I guess we could just go with the uh, iron here. So let's just kind of get our torch on. Uh, because right now, I can't seem to be using my daylight mod uh, to actually keep it uh, daytime. So we're just going to... You're going to have to excuse me right now. Because the command for it, the keybind, is opening this up instead. Which is a lot. So you can see how much work has gone into this mod. Uh, producing one, producing four, produce building eight. You can see what I mean? So they've they've done a lot of work, this. So GG to the developers of this. Um, so this is going to output two. So we're just going to have to make something that's going to be on the floor here. Let's just kind of put you down. So we can see there's a liquid input here, which I'm curious about. Whoa! Excuse me? What is this? On, off... Function drill, function fluid, function crusher, function energy, function energy two, function energy three, function smelter. We've got node quality survey is pure. Is it pure? Is it a pure node? It is. And then we've got mining efficiency is 200% because obviously it's on a pure node. Three uh, a minute. So let's connect this up with power because I'm super curious how this is going to work. So let's just kind of put you down there. Are these uh, creating the same amount of power as well? 
Uh, they are. Okay. So that's going to be making 40 megawatts of power. This building is cool. I like the design of this. It does look like I cannot see power. Zero out of five megawatts per minute. The power ramps up depending on productivity. So it can go up to five megawatts per usage of this machine. Okay. So it could go to two, it could go to three, depending on productivity. Um, so we're going to put that into there. This then needs to go into a crusher, uh, which I guess I can just line up. Let's just get a belt. Do I need to use both of these outputs? I don't know, but I'm going to do it. So let's connect that up. Let's bring some more power around here. Obviously, I don't want to skip ahead right now because like normally my normal pace of satisfactory videos are uh, a little bit more crazy than what this will be because... Technically, this is all new, and you guys need to see this stuff as well if you've not seen it before. Oh, okay. You're making a byproduct straight away? That's pretty cool. So that means we can make crush steratite, serafite, or ruby rubytite. Ru ruby rubite? Rubite. Rubite. I'm reading that as ruby tight. It's rubite. Safrite. St steratite. <laughs> Anyway, so we can make that with the actual crushed stone as a byproduct of one per minute. We're making three crushed stone ruby uh, a second. So that means we can then divert this off to make concrete in at certain points, right? So what we need to do now is we need to then put a smelter down, because obviously we need to put a smelter down. And I'm just going to try and line up that with that one, right? Uh, and then we're just going to put you down onto a belt into there. You're going to make sloppy iron ingots. You're making 30 per minute, which is normal. Uh, and then we're going to put you into a constructor, which is, I guess, iron... Pl oh my God, are these recipes already? We're just going to get iron plates being done, which is 30 ingots per minute, which is your, your standard. So let's get these powered. And hopefully we should have enough uh, to power all of this. The only thing I need to do now is go and get some biomass. And I'm not going to show you that because biomass is biomass. And then I can just throw that into there, throw you into there, and we should now have some power, which we should be making 40 megawatts. And I want to see this in action. I want to see the animations they've added to this. There's a light up there that's been that's on. So I'm guessing it's showing that this is running. Do I need to put a drill bit in this? It looks like I do need to. So let's go into the mining head. I need to make two additional uh, miners. So we need to make two portable miners. And then I should be able to make a mining head, which... I literally attach it to the actual machine, which is pretty cool. And I'll put that on there. That's now activated. We can see these coming out of here. And then let's make crushed stereotype. That's going into there. It wants 60 per minute. You're making double that. You're actually making 120 per minute, obviously, because it's a it's efficient. So we could double this whole lineup. But then you're going to make a byproduct. And obviously, we need that byproduct to actually come out as well. So we're going to put a constructor down at the side of the smelter. And we're just going to divert a belt out of there into here to actually make concrete. So that needs 60 per minute. And you're going to be making one per minute. So it is going to be underperforming. So we'll figure that out. We're not going to like optimize everything now. We want to look at new machines, look at the new recipes and all that kind of stuff. So uh, once we've got that, we should now have uh, storage as well. So let's put some storage down. Oh, I need more screws. I should have some rods to make screws. I do. So let's just handcraft a couple of these. Put that into there. So now the concrete can now come down. Be stored just like normal. I want to see the internal sides of this. So we can see 200% pure. Boom, boom. 60 per minute. We can on and off. Function, function crusher. We can see these are lit up. These are obviously red because there's no fluid going in. Energy. I don't understand this yet, but we'll figure that out as time comes. Um... I love, I'm kind of liking this. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And remember, if you're enjoying the video, like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. And let me know if you're already using this or you're super interested. But like I said before, be very wary that the, excuse me, uh, that if you go to use this mod and want to use this as your main playthrough, that when update 8 comes out, especially with it going to Unreal Engine 5, this mod will break. Your save will still be there and everything, you just can't play it until the mod loader and the mod itself updates to the correct version. So that's when you can only play it. Hence why I don't play a modded playthrough on YouTube as a playthrough yet, because of that kind of stuff happening and me waiting maybe a month to two months to release an episode. 
So eventually I will do a full modded playthrough, which will be after 1.0 because there won't be as many significant major updates. So that is going to be super cool and I'm looking forward to it. Oh, shut up. So we've got plates being made. We've got concrete being made. We've looked at a miner. We've looked at the crusher. Constructors are thinking we've upgraded the hub. Let's see if we can do anything else with a hub now. Which we can, and we can see tier 1 and 2 have been unlocked, so let's go through these. So in tier 1, we've got simple logistics, which is going to give us a simple conveyor belt, not mark 1, a simple, and it's an important part of conveyor belts, it says. That's it. Uh, conveyor merger, conveyor splitter, and then we've got better conveyors, which is a mark 2. Then we've got a mark 2 lift and a stackable conveyor pole. Destruction of nature, chainsaw, biofuel, hand slots, inventory slots, and then we've got base. I love these icons. Base building, so this is obviously going to give us foundations and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, research is going to give us the man, the object scanner, personal storage box. The ore sorting is going to give us a sorter. This building can split ores into the component parts and thus extract different ores. It can also enrich ores or soil components. Pure metals can can be used to make metals more efficient and essential for some ore processes. Interesting. So that's going to give us crushed tin, tin ingots, lead ingots, and lead plates. Then we've got improved, which is obviously the assembler, uh, our good old friend there, lead sheets and rotors. And then we've got tier two, which is going to give us alloys, which is going to give us a foundry in tier two. We have bronze ingots, we have bronze pipes, bronze plates, bronze beams, modular frames and inventory slots. And then advanced parts, bronzed frame, a, excuse me, and a lead frame? That is... What? <laughs> advanced sorting, we've got crushed zinc, crushed magnesium, magnesium granules, zinc, zinc plates, zinc and tin mixture, and bronze ingots. Then we've got rewards, awesome zinc, awesome shop. Awesome Sink Storage Mark 1, and that contains 24 slots for storing large amounts of items. Has one input and output. If powered, items in this last slot will automatically be converted to Awesome Sink Points. Needs also power to... St that's pretty cool. So we... Oh, that's pretty cool. So if we power this, the last item in the actual storage will go straight to the sink instead of us overflowing the storage and send another line to the sink. That's pretty cool. Inventory slots and then build gun upgrade customizer. Then we've got the smelting module. A smelting module attached to a module miner. Smelts the extracted ore instantly, outputting ingots and molten slag. Smell only the first ingot types like iron, copper, or tin. Increases the power required by the modular miner. That's pretty cool. So that's our first module. And then fix it assembly project mark one, which is going to be the smart plating and then blueprints. So they've added the blueprints in tier two, which is pretty cool. So this mod is getting pretty ridiculous. And you can see why I'm pretty excited about the future of this mod, because one, it's nuts. And two, it's nuts. And three, it's absolutely bloody nuts. So first off, we're just going to go straight for simple logistics. And before we even go to this, like, look at the amount of items I've got to look at possibly creating first. So it's good just to go to one rare uh, stereotype, one rare uh, crushed stereotype, one crushed ruby type, and then getting it all lem set up, creating more power just like you normally would, and then start doing that, right? Okay, so I kind of threw this together and you can kind of see it's a little bit similar to what you normally have. It's just that this time I've got the crushes involved. And then we're sending and merging the byproduct of stone into the constructor to make concrete, whilst the two outside constructors is making iron plates and iron rods. But the rods are then going into another constructor to make iron wire. And of course, that's all being stored, just so I can kind of see how the production line's gonna work. But also, you might notice something different with the biomass generators. One, they've got a different model, and two, they've got an input, which means, as you normally do, like a semi-automatic uh, solid biomass system so you'll grab the uh, a container put your leaves into that which then goes into a constructor which then goes into another constructor to make solid biofuel and then that will go into a storage so then you've got to manually put it in where now you can actually just put down a constructor like you normally would then that will go uh, directly into a well 
a splitting system here so we can put like a a, a manifold down here but what we're going to do is we're just going to directly put that straight out right now and we're just going to put that into there and then all i need to do on this side is i need to put down a storage container throw my um biomass into there nearly forgot what it was called set my recipe up for this which will be uh, biomass it doesn't matter if it's wood or leaves because technically this the, under the same thing oh no i want to make sorry solid biofuel which requires biomass uh, obviously 120 per minute we're on 100 uh, the 60 belt right now so it's not going to be optimized but this is just for science purposes and then all i need to do is just connect that up there to the power get that producing what it needs to produce the biofuel then comes out and we'll go directly straight into the biomass. So if you're a person that hates biomass at the beginning, you can kind of do this. You still need to semi-automate it, kind of, uh, because, well, technically you don't. You can automate it. It's just that you still need to go out, grab your leaves, grab your wood and all this kind of stuff. And then before putting it into a storage here, you're going to put down another... Uh, constructor which will make the biomass wood which obviously requires wood so you'll put down a storage container here with wood in it the wood will then go into this this will then make biomass the biomass will produce 120 per minute which will go straight into a constructor which requires 120 per minute as well which will make the solid biofuel so then you can just put that down as a manifold and as you know solid biofuel burns super slowly in this as you can see the bar is trickling down very slowly but it all depends on the power consumption as well with biomass so keep that in mind so let's just kind of remove all of this and let's just go and take a diddly daddly look i don't know what i'm saying right there that was just bloody stupid bits but if we go into here i've not obviously not used the biomass here i'm still using the module attachment onto this and then obviously we've got these working up here, which is kind of doing its thing. And it's it's pretty decent, to be honest. And like, the way you've got to think about it is, right, we don't need any concrete. There's no concrete nodes anywhere. Because obviously we've got the... Yeah, them. <laughs> and we've also got uh, the, the, the rubites as well. So making concrete is a byproduct, which, new enough everything, will be making a byproduct of stone. So you just need three crushers. Because this crusher right here is outputting 20 crushed stone per minute as well as the crushed uh, stereotype. And that 20 comes along here, merges together with that 20, then goes into this. But obviously this needs 60 crushed stone. So three crushers actually require to go into this constructor to make it an efficient system. But yeah, like there's so much stuff you can add uh, into this game. Let's go back and have a look at the milestones real quick. And because with all of this, there's so much changed. Like, we've got your research, like, and then you go into tier two. I, sh I don't really want to unlock all of these in case you guys want to have a look for yourself what's going to be in here. Uh, but I can already see, and you guys can probably already see, it's going to be a lot more complicated and a lot more extensive. And this, for sure, will help with your playability. Hi, Hog. What you doing? And obviously, this is just for kind of like your basic iron setup. That's not including your screws or anything. But what we can do is we can press Control and L, and we can see everything here so that we can make the bronze frame, production in, consumed in, buildings. We can see what buildings it's going to go into, which obviously the space elevator uh, recipes have changed. Uh, no, sorry, to make the space elevator, sorry. The cables. If we go over to uh, iron plates right now, we can see here it's produced uh, from iron ingots. It's consumed in all of these recipes that I've unlocked. And then it's also uh, made in, uh, it can mix all of these buildings right here. So you can see what, you know, what you're going to be using the iron plates for, what you're going to be consuming them in, uh, and what they are made in as well, which is pretty cool. And you can see, obviously, the resource nodes, uh, the buildings, and all this kind of stuff, which looks super cool. I like how it doesn't show you what is going to be coming in the future. It only shows you what you've unlocked, which I find pretty handy. And to be honest, I'm actually really, really liking this mod. It's definitely something I'm going to play, not with just yet, but I will play with it as soon as 1.0 has released. Well, I say when it's released, but I mean technically after I've done my main playthrough of 1.0. So let me know if you want me to dig deeper into this mod um, as a rough playthrough. Not as I won't say playthrough, but just as a rough kind of look into it to see if you guys want more details in case you don't want to check it out for yourself because you don't have the time. But let me know in the comments below but also check out my other content right here and hopefully you like the satisfactory plus mod and see the possible potential within it so keep smiling and i'll see you in another bloody video